Government senators are excited about the opportunities that Grenada and other CARICOM countries will enjoy through collaboration with the African Export and Import Bank. Leader of Government Business in the Upper House, Senator Adrian Thomas, presented the bill, the agreement for the establishment of the partnership between CARICOM member states and the African Export Import Bank Bill 2023. The bill seeks to foster closer ties between parties, helping the promotion and financing of trade and investments. The agreement was launched in September 2022. It is important as the African nation, the African Union, see the need to reach out to the brothers and sisters in the diaspora. Because they have considered us, they have not let us go. They consider we, in, the, in this part of the world, as members of the diaspora. And therefore, it is important that they reach, us to, reach out to us. Overall, Madam President, the agreement provides a framework for fostering closer ties between Grenada and Africa and offers significant opportunities for expanding trade and investment. Madam President, the key areas that they will be focusing on, the area of tourism and hospitality, education services, agriculture and agribusinesses, renewable energy and climate change, ICT, and culture and the creative economy. Business representative Senator Salim Rahman Government Senators Claudia Joseph, David Andrew, and Opposition Senator Neilan Franklin express optimism that the bill will usher in new and positive advancements for Grenada's economy. This bill speaks to trade, and this is what business is all about, trade and investment. And so I'm happy to see this. Um, I'm happy to see that they, they also provide LC, letter of credit, um, guarantees and so on. And so I would like to explore further in detail what f exact facilities that there's a bank offer and what uh, businesses in the regions have already taken advantage of, uh, of, with re of their products um, so that we can, ex we can look at those in Grenada and see what would apply to us, what would be best for us. But the African continent as a whole, in terms of numbers, and in terms of um, opportunity, I mean, that is beyond our thinking. It focuses not just on extending financial credit, but on promoting and facilitating trade, exchange of goods and services between contracting parties. And this is something that will bode very well for us. So it's not just accessing finance for tourism, ICT, renewable energy, agriculture, creative industry, etc., but also engaging in trade, export, import of goods and services relative to these and other um, sectors. This is the ushering in of a new age, not just for Grenada, but for the region. Um, for the establishment of official ties in that sense um, with our ancestral um, continent, so to speak. From listening to our sister well, countries in the region, region Barbados, St. Kitts, um, St. Lucia, and so on, and their leaders' rationale for, for the support of this agreement, I have to give commendation words to you for the move by Grenada in that direction. Um, Madam President, from my assessment of this initiative, this agreement, I can say confidently that the agreement allows for the prospect of improvement in, the, in investments and development in tourism, Renewable energy, ICT, agriculture, and the leader of government business explained a number of different areas. Um, it also allows for the potential to establish new 
diplomatic relations with countries on the continent and the strengthening of existing relations with countries there. I'm happy that we are at a place where we have signed this agreement and we can come to the population, we can come to our people to explain such. We'll have probably increased access, not only to market, but probably to cooperation, culture. Some years ago, we had one of the tribes coming to Kariaku and, and, and claiming and owning, and Senator here might be able to tell me more, um, the big drum as one of their cultural things and were able to place the people from Kariaku, from Sierra Leone, right? And so I look forward to even increased cultural collaboration and identification with the mother continent. And I just know that the opportunities are potentially limitless if properly explored.